Okay, so this is uh, the knuckleball physics. Now basically what is it? It's a shot where very little spin is imparted to the ball, causing it to deviate randomly in flight. It's used in baseball and soccer mostly. Here's an example. Notice how it moved away from the net and then back to it. Another example, you, you can see just a slight movement and that is basically enough to put any goalkeeper uh, or in baseball, uh, any batter off course. I uh, just got one more example here. So now how does it happen? When the ball is moving fast, uh, the seams have no effect. But when it's slowing, um, any wind can catch on one side of the ball but not the other, causing it just enough to move off course, as you can see right there. In this next clip, you will see that it is possible for a baseball pitcher to do the same. He throws it in such a way that the ball loses almost all of its spin. And you'll see a comparison in just a moment on the difference between that and a regular fastball. As you can see, a fastball has a rotation of maybe 8 to 12 times, whereas a knuckleball has maybe one, one half to one and a half times. In baseball, the physics are ever so slightly different. This is a fastball, and with the air traveling underneath it, it's keeping the ball up in the air in a basically straight trajectory. Now you'll notice with the knuckleball, um, it kind of bobbles up and down because it's got air pushing up on one side and not the other. It's, it's really strange to see. You can see why it throws a batter off course. Now, that's basically the end of my project. Um, I'm just going to talk for maybe about another 10 seconds or so because it had to be maybe two minutes. Um, you can stop listening whenever you like. Um, yeah. Bye.